Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Telebeats. In today's video, I'm going to continue the techno from start to finish. And uh, in the last video, I exported everything into stamps and I already loaded the samples into or the stamps into FL Studio. So what we are going to do today is start the mix process. And uh, yeah, I have some things that I want to address here and I loaded the files i renamed them so that you don't have to see me go through the renaming process which is a little bit boring before we start i would like to ask you to subscribe and activate notifications we are close to 10,000 subscribers which is a big milestone so i want to thank you for subscribing consider supporting this channel by buying one of the products at dailybits.pt or become a premium member and you will have access to premium videos to the videos without cuts and more and also you will be able to download the project file so that you can try at home and exclusive sample packs and a lot of really good information is up there. So all my mindsets, everything I do in the videos, you will be able to see and learn from it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and switch back to FL Studio. So this is what I have so far. As you can see, I ordered the sounds in a way so we have kick snare or the kicks the percussion or drums let's say then i have the basses then i start having the synths and at the end i have here synths for the breakdown and the noises here so let's hear it let me make this actually a little bit shorter okay So, so far so good. We have some good levels here. So one thing that I like to do, even though we have already a mix in place from the last project, what I like to do is start without anything like that. And I also need a channel for the pump. So let's go call this pump. We can even do some separation here and here also. So we have the kicks. The kicks actually I'm not sure if I'm going to send them here through the mix because the mix, I want to add some, some auxiliary reverb, which I don't think I have here. No, I don't. So I'm going to route the kicks directly to the master and then I will have this mix with all the other effects and plugins or instruments. Everything will be here. And then I can route for this aux reverb, something like that. I think it sounds better like this. I also have another thing that I can check for, which is I have this, uh, I was borrow, I, some some uh, some colleagues borrow me this, the sub pack. So this is quite nice to mix. And uh, what I'm going to do is put this on. Let's hear this part. So now, now the idea is to listen to the track several times to make sure that we are having some, some, uh, the values are okay, are good or in a way good. Of course, there is some, some, the, the mixing part comes after, but, uh, we want to make sure that we have a strong mix, static mix already. Yeah. We see this. Part. 
Spot. Okay, I think it's a good point. So we have pretty much checked all the channels here. So I think here we are in a good position. Let's go from maybe from from the beginning. <clears throat> so I'm, if I'm, I'm adding stuff to the track or not, or gain to the track. So it's one of the issues with, uh, not the issues, but uh, it's why I like Pro Tools, but I cannot do Pro Tools because I have the I cannot speak and do stuff at the same time so sorry for that let's bring this one here yeah so we have now two versions let me see which one is input okay so this is input this output and then I can start doing some effects here and I was saying that I like Pro Tools because I can see what is the input and the output and match the, the outputs real easy and uh, in FL Studio there is not the plugins usually don't have that I like this one because the, the they have here as you can see but uh, yeah what I usually do also is I, I load these uh, DB meter switches that they don't have a lot of CPU power as you can see we still at 6 and when I enable them we still at six, so this this costs pretty much no CPU power, and uh, yeah, that's 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 why I like to use it, and I can level match it right really easy here. So let's see what I can do here. Maybe it's too low. Let's go. Yeah, I think it's it's okay. And um, the good thing about this is that now I have pretty much all my plugins here. So I can load one plugin that I like, which is this H comp. And this is already giving me some compression, which I don't want. Let's turn off this. Let's have the attack to run 10 milliseconds release. 80 it's okay let's see if we have actually a preset for mixing mastering now let's keep it like that and let's decrease here the threshold to catch some peaks very 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 simple maybe a three to one or two and a half i just want to to catch some of the peaks not not too many okay so now we saw that introduced some gain so let's reduce the gain maybe 2 db All right, so yeah, I think uh, maybe it's a little bit more. Okay, so I think we are in a good position. Let's see the before and after. Let's go and bring some the neutron elements again okay let's see what we can do here to bring this synth to life so this i can already see that i can remove pretty much all these low frequencies so let's apply and let's do that So no need to have those frequencies interfering with the bass and everything. I 
I like it around here this area so let's go with 60b and let's crank make this larger okay I like that so now we need a compressor let's bring okay so let's see what we have let's go to mono or to stereo actually It's quite a big difference. Even though the track was already in a good spot, especially in the synth, it makes it a big difference. And in the basses, let me see without the sub back so that I can hear what you are hearing. So it's, it's clear, it's more front that's what I'm looking for but this this is quite nice I think I will I will try to buy one soon because this makes my mixes sound more I can I can f hear the feel the bass I can see okay so I have enough bass or I don't it's quite quite nice of course it can trick your ears into hearing more stuff so as you you can blend on it and off you can put it on and off to check the the things and uh, but i think it's a really good good uh, device to have to to make your mixes or your production sound a little bit better but but yeah so what i was going to say is that the idea is to make the tracks uh sound better in the con in the context of the whole the full mix and this is the, the main idea. You've seen that I didn't do crazy stuff like like changing the sound completely. I like the, the, how it sounded. Now it's just making sure everything is fitting together, especially in mono, because uh, discos and clubs, they are all pretty much work in mono nowadays. Uh, it might not be that much, but if the your mix sounds good in mono it will translate very well to stereo and this is you can you can hear it this is it guys uh, we still have half of the track to mix and uh, we are going to do that in the next episode if you are new here to this channel subscribe and activate notifications so that you know when i upload new videos and if you have any questions just leave a comment below also consider supporting this channel by buying one of the products at dailybeats.pt or become a premium member and you'll have access to the full video where I show you everything that I did. You will have access to the stems so that you can mix at home, so that you can practice with actual tracks and uh, also to the project files and some exclusive sample packs just for the premium members. I will have all the links in the description. My name is Tiago. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.